Eyewitness News exclusive Buckles Busted. The Target 12 investigators were the first to report that former Providence Highway Superintendent Edward Buckles Malisi agreed to plead guilty to drug charges. Today, our cameras were the only ones rolling as he left his arraignment. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with details you'll see only on 12. Well, Karen, if a judge signs off, the deal means Malisi will avoid going to trial. And while he is in talks with prosecutors, Malisi's attorney tells us he's not playing any role in the federal drug investigation. Only eyewitness news cameras roll as Edward Buckles Malisi leaves federal court after his arraignment. As the Target 12 investigators first reported last week, the former Providence Highway superintendent has filed a plea agreement on four counts of conspiracy to distribute more than a thousand OxyContin pills. Mr. Malisi is interested in resolving this as quickly as he can. It's as simple as that. According to court records, Malisi met several times with a DEA informant last year selling hundreds of pills. As part of his plea agreement, prosecutors will ask for a reduced sentence. All he's doing is pleading guilty to the four counts of the indictment. Uh, we'll make arguments at the time of sentencing. Otherwise, it's a straightforward plea agreement. This won't be the first time Malisi pleads guilty to federal charges. In 1984, Malisi admitted to extorting $64,000 from snowplow drivers while working as the city's highway supervisor. Malisi's attorney tells Eyewitness News his client has no plan to cooperate with federal investigators. That's a decision he made. And it never was any discussion about cooperation. And a hearing date on the plea agreement hasn't been set just yet. The deal doesn't say how many years prosecutors will ask for, but ultimately it's up to a judge how much prison time Malisi will serve. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.